elaborateness that is necessary to have conflict res resolution, to have everyone's voices heard, to be able to listen to each other, all those kinds of governance structures which actually were perfected on this continent by the 500 native nations that were here before Europeans showed up. I mean, that was the whole point of their, uh, of their structures. It is a whole specialty. Uh, and it's, it's, it's glorious and, and complicated. And as long as we put our attention towards, only towards hostility and militarism, uh, even if it's stopping it, we won't have the emphasis we need on the alternative to it. We won't understand how complex it is and how much it is a process, how much it is a means that are, are going to lead to the end. Yeah. So I, I hope that on this day uh, we can celebrate each other, we can understand that it was different for uh, the first, you know, 95% of human history can be different again. We can deeply understand that the violence that we experience imminently normalizes the violence everywhere else. Maybe we should call, instead of saying domestic violence, which is bringing it forward to people who make it visible and the name of it have laws about it. Maybe we should call it now original violence. Because when there is violence between males and females, based on the cult of masculinity, which men didn't create, but they got born into, uh, it, it normalizes violence in the street and in foreign policy. If we take that seriously, if we take seriously what is happen happening in the Honduras, what is happening uh, in the Juarez, what is happening uh, in our own communities, what is, you know, we will be acting uh, locally and having an effect locally. It is all connected in, in that way as well. So, you know, because of uh, you all here are having to deal with uh, a wall, so to speak, uh, with the uh, horrendous idea that national boundaries, which are also, even the, there, the newest in human history, much newer than patriarchy and racism and monotheism and everything else, we used to have, we didn't have national boundaries. We had migratory parents on this globe. And wherever different groups came together around watering holes and trading places, culture was the richest and the most interesting. We had migratory paths that covered the global and lakes. We didn't have lines drawn in this sand artificially as we do now. Perhaps we are drawn to a period when they are being uh, made to seem as ridiculous as they truly are. The corporations are globalizing the wrong values, but we in this room can globalize the right values. So I, I thought I, I would give you something that um, I just got as, as a gift the other day from uh, someone I don't know, but perhaps some of you in this room know, a novelist, a much beloved Japanese novelist, Kabuki Yorokami. Uh, who was also, is also um, in his country, uh, protested walls, right, of all kinds. Uh, and here is his kind of credo. Between a high, solid wall and an egg that breaks against it, I will always stand on the side of the egg. Yes, no matter how right the wall may be and how wrong the egg, I will stand on the egg. <laughs> Someone else will have to decide what is right and what is wrong. Perhaps time or history will decide. If there were a novelist who, for whatever reason, wrote work standing with the wall, of what value would that be? Think of it this way. Each of us is more or less an egg. Each of us is a unique, irreplaceable soul enclosed in a fragment. This is true of me, and it is true of and each of us, to a greater or lesser degree, is confronted a high and solid wall. And it has a name, it's called the system. The system is supposed to protect us, but sometimes
times it takes our life of its own, and then it begins to kill us and cause us to kill the other coldly and systematically. We are all human beings. We are all individuals transcendent in nationality and race and religion, fragile and space with a solid wall of policy. To all appearances, we have no hope of winning. The wall is too high, too strong, too cold. If we have any hope of victory at all, it will have to come from our believing in the utter uniqueness and irreplaceability of our own and other souls, and from the warmth within by joining our souls together. Take a moment to think about this. Each, each of us possesses a tangible living soul. The system has no self-control. We must not allow the system to exploit us. We must not allow the system to take on a life of its own. The system did not make us. We made the system. We are on the side of the egg. <laughs>